Welcome back everybody. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my home. I just have a small little haul for you and I want to talk to you about thrifting for clothes. Is it worth it? I know plenty of people that right alongside of me like to thrift for clothing and I know a lot of people that say, oh, I never find anything. It's used clothes. It's, oh, I don't like it. Somebody else wore it. I think thrifting for clothes is one of the best ways to be frugal, practical, and to stay on budget. I've got some peppermint tea here. I'm gonna bring you along, show you a few things. My husband and I and my youngest son were on vacation for a week. We've been back for a little bit. I picked up some great things. One of the things we love to do is go thrifting while we're on vacation. We are not kind of cruise people. We, we used to be. Or travel the world. We just don't do that anymore. For us, just going out to Amish country, thrifting, hitting some quaint shops, antiquing, all that kind of stuff is what we enjoy doing. Come back with a few good finds. So let me take a sip of my delicious peppermint tea with honey, and then I'll show you what I got. Now, there are some things I got in Pennsylvania, and there are some things I purchased in New Jersey. So I'll show you what I got, and where I got it, and how much I paid, and then you can decide whether you think thrifting is really worth it. So when we were out in Pennsylvania, I did find this great bag. And I at first thought it was homemade. And then I found the little sticker inside, Made in India. But it's a great tote. And I like the vintage look to it. It's, is it toile? I think is how you pronounce it. That's what it reminds me of. I know that's not what it is, but that's what it reminded me of. And I like the style bag that it is. There's the side. The base of it you can see is pretty nice it has in the front here it has pocket here a pocket here and the same thing in the front a pocket and a pocket nice handles and there's the inside it's nice and clean there's you know no dirty you know sometimes you get things and they're quite filthy i don't know there's no tags on it but it certainly looks brand new it doesn't look like it's been used this is a great overnight bag you're going somewhere or you know what in new jersey now we're going to need totes we're getting ready we're going bagless in new jersey it's a great little tote for picking things up at the dollar tree or dollar general this is my plan for this bag is going to be my youtube I bag i can take this with me i can fit my laptop or my tablet in here and I just think for $5, I think that was really worth it. I love the print. I love the vintage look. So that's one thing that I purchased. When we were in Pennsylvania, if any of you are in the Ephrata area of Pennsylvania, I don't have a lot of uh, New Jersey people that travel out there and some are from Pennsylvania. If you go to Ephrata and go to the Reuse It in Ephrata. So here's something I picked up. Now, if you watched my video, where I talked about refreshing your wardrobe. I said, wear a white shirt, a black shirt, or a gray shirt. You can add any color that you want. So you can have one white shirt and go away for three days with a pair of black pants and just switch out the tops, the scarf, the jewelry, the accessories. So this I picked up, and here is the brand name of this one. There you go. And I loved the colors. Now we're headed into spring and summer, so I still might get one or two wears of this during the spring. I just thought the colors of this were just gorgeous. You've got gray, you've got different blues, you've got a hint of green in there, like a jade green, you've got the black and the white. Black pants, white shirt, I'm in business. And just the perfect earrings to go with this. this I picked up and this was $6. That is way more than I normally pay. But still in all, if you were to buy a top like this in Kohl's or JCPenney, you know, any of these Boscov stores, you'd pay a whole lot more for that. Here is a purse. I am a bag lady. I love any kind of bag. I love purses. I've gotten a little bit more fussy in terms of the style of bag I like. I like a crossbody. I like having my hands free. Um, my two favorites are anything 31 and anything lug. They're my two absolute favorite bags. And um, this is not a lug and it's not a 31. But I loved the color. The color got me. I loved the little crunchy look at the bottom. Look, here's the very bottom. Nice and clean looking. Beautifully and clean. I liked that the handles had just this little reinforcement at the top. I really like that. You know, I did the shoulder test. Shoulder test worked very well. This was $6. 
and it was on half price so I paid three dollars and I thought you know it just really is a nice soft I like a soft leather I don't like anything that you put it on your shoulder and your shoulder already hurts and you haven't even put your stuff in it so and I like my bags are more of a tote slash pocketbook now this one is stuffed with tissue paper I don't know if it's brand new or not but normally when you go to a thrift store you don't think find things stuffed like you would if you went to a store now this one let me show you who this is from banana republic I went on to look up this bag and the price of this bag so I I could have spent six dollars and that would have been a great deal I spent three dollars because it was half price I could not find this exact bag I wasn't going to spend hours looking for it but similar bags like this for Banana Republic started at are you sitting down a hundred and fifty five dollars so I figured the fact that I paid three to six dollars I got a good deal instead of $155. So is thrifting worth, worth it? I got a great brand name, half price, $3 instead of $155 plus. I think I did good. So the other day, a friend of mine mentioned there is a thrift store. I haven't been to it probably in 20 years at least. That's how long. And it's 25 minutes from my house. I just never think of it. And it's in an old barn behind a church. And I see the sign and it's always like, oh, I have to get back there. And I forgot about it. And my girlfriend went and she said, oh, she said, I found really nice shoes and sandals for the summer. I found great things for $2. You got to go back. Well, oh my word. I went there yesterday with my mom. Pick this up. It's a, just a cute little, you, it's crocheted. I don't know if you can see through it. It's got a cute little design here at the bottom. It's crocheted here. It's got the little crocheted buttons on it. It's just a little cardigan, something nice to wear, like in the summer if you needed something, air conditioning in the office, just a little cover up. Perfect. It was $3 and they had a half price sale that day, so I paid $1.50. I am excited. And then I was speaking today and I was speaking at a church and I needed a just something pretty to wear on top in case it was chilly. So I picked this up and this is by Ruby Road. I love the brand Ruby Road. You can see that there. I love this brand and look at this white cardigan. Okay, let me show you, pull this up. So here's, it's just plain and white cream color and there's the end of the sleeves. And I like that because I like to pull mine up so that would help stay up there. And it does have the same type of thing at the bottom, the little drape. You can see the drape there. I'm sorry, it's a little wrinkled. Got to iron it. But look at the top. How precious is this? Just a little bling at the top. See that? Just enough, just enough to add a little pizzazz. You could wear this with a nice shirt underneath it and wear it with a pair of jeans. It would look great, dress up the jeans. You could wear this to Sunday church and look snazzy in this. I just thought this was so nice. Same thing, $1.50 at the half price. Then I got up there and she said, oh, shoes are half price as well. Now, to me, for a pair of shoes for $2 is pretty good. I love Tom McCann shoes. I'm probably dating myself. Tom McCann used to be in the mall, then they shut down their stores, then they went to Kmart, and Kmart carried Tom McCann brand shoes. I love their shoes. They wore well. They fit my feet well. They didn't hurt my feet. I had the worst trouble finding comfortable shoes. I'm on my feet all day doing a lot. I need to wear something somewhat dressy at times. And um, if it was up to me, I'd be in jeans, a hoodie, and a pair of Skechers all the time. That's just me. But I can't always do that. So I found these shoes. And if you know the brand Clark's, Clark's are not cheap shoes. So these are Clark's. They look barely worn on the bottom. They're a cute little shoe. Try them on. They fit perfectly. I just absolutely love them. I think they're adorable. They would go great with just about anything that I wear. Got them for $1. Now, if you know Clark shoes, $50 is cheap for a pair of Clark shoes. You're probably looking at 65, 75, 85 baseline and up. $1. So what I like to do is I get like a Lysol Clorox wipe. I wipe all the inside out. Then I spray it with some Lysol. 
let them sit overnight we're good to go absolutely love these shoes for one dollar so you can see i got some great buys i got two nice cover-ups plus this short sleeve cover-up two nice bags and a pair of shoes what did i pay three five eight eight and 14 15 16 17 18 dollars and i've gotten a great new addition to my wardrobe so to me thrifting for clothes is a great way to go frugal shopping stay on budget get some great buys and i'll tell you if i wore these shoes for a season even for one season the winter season or even for one year i spent a dollar if i got bored with them they didn't feel as comfortable i don't like them anymore you know you go through phases you like something and then you go oh i don't like it i spent a dollar versus spending a hundred dollars so i spent a dollar it's okay i can pass it on if i've wore this sweater a few times and i think you know i just never wear it i'm going to pass it on i spent a dollar fifty you know this banana republic bag this is a beautiful bag if I take great care of it. If I wore it for a season and then I didn't like it, I can easily sell it on Poshmark or eBay, Facebook Marketplace, something like that. I could sell this thing for a lot more than $3. At least make my money back. I, I could sell it enough to pay for all the things that I just purchased. So there you go. Is thrifting worth it for clothing? I would say yes. What do you think? I'd love to hear your comments below and we'll catch you all on the next video.